Um, I see Alberto as a highly competitive individual. You know, he's got a very high football IQ and knows the offense inside and out. He's uh, smart, uh, savvy, smart, knows where to go with the ball. That guy is an M, probably the best quarterback I've ever played with. Uh, understands defenses. He is he is very much an extension of the coaching staff. I just try my game as a very versatile player. I can stay in the pocket, make plays. I can also have some pocket mobility and. Um, if I need to, I can use my feet to make plays, so I think I'm very versatile. Been in the offense for, for three years, and his first year he was here, sat and learned from his brother, who was a starter that year. Love our team's chances with Alberto leading. Uh, Love the last year, love it again this year, uh, and with a season under his belt, playing in 15 games last year, he's a, he's a seasoned veteran. My name is Alberto Mendoza, and it's my time. I mean, uh, I've dreamt of being a college quarterback for a while since I was in middle school, so it's definitely a dream come true to be able to have college scholarships and, and be able to be able to commit to school. Uh, I grew up at South Miami uh, with my brother and my parents, both parents in the home, so definitely a lot of support from a young age. Uh, my, my parents always supported me playing football. I played at South Miami Grey Ghost Pee Wees, so played in the local local area with them. I uh, had a great time. Then I went to Belen in middle school and I played there in middle school and then I eventually transferred to Columbus and I've been there ever since. Said in the pregame, okay, in a battle, it's gonna, it's gonna go back and forth. It's gonna be even. And at some point, somebody's gonna tap out. I'll tell you what, one's enough. And it was never gonna be us. Right. Yeah! Dave Dunn, head football coach, Columbus High School. It, it's, it's been great on coaching him and his brother have, have been and it's an amazing experience because they're both great young men, you know, raised from a, a, a you know by two really good parents. Um, so watching those both of those two guys mature and grow not only as players but as but as young men has has been awesome. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed each and every minute of coaching both Alberto and Fernando. Uh, by being coached by Coach Dunn is is great. I mean, he's very very tough on players, which is great. Um, he. He's very positive and has a lot of positive reinforcement with the players. So he's he's definitely a great mentor and he's very very knowledgeable about football. So it, it definitely helps. I'm um, pretty direct. You know the uh, I, I would consider probably tough love. I mean you know I'm behind those guys 100% and they know it. But uh, you know I also kind of get on them when they, when they make mistakes and especially when they have some mental lapses. But um, you know so it's you know, I, I try to coach people how I was raised and I was kind of raised in somewhat of a tough love environment. I knew my parents loved me, but they, uh, you know, they made sure that I took care of what I was supposed to take care of. And, and I try to treat our players the same way that, you know, they have certain responsibilities and obligations they have to uphold and, and uh, make sure they do that here. I think Coach Dunn's coaching method is, is a great coaching method because he's, he's not super hands-on all the time. When he needs to be, he is with players, but, um, he, he kind of lets people do their thing, and when, when there needs to be action taken, he takes action. You have enough energy to lift, and you don't have enough energy to play in the game. That's right, the way I look at it. Everybody makes up the lift after school today, real simple. All right, better today than yesterday. Hey, we're talking about a little bit about a short week. But right, tomorrow, it's, we do a run-through, not a walk-through. we got to be 100% locked in, especially on special teams. The big difference in the game last week was we were clean in special teams. Except for maybe one play. But overall, we've won the special teams battle hands down. We need to win the special teams battle again on Thursday night. And continue to get better in that phase of the game. Right? We need to take care of business right from the get go, like we said. Last week, we said, hey, they were really athletic. They're going to play hard. They're really, really young. If we let them hang around, it's going to be a ball game. We let them hang around, right? We shouldn't have happened. 
did not let it happen on Thursday. All right, guys, get a short yard. Yeah. Andres Fernandez, quarterback coach, Christopher Columbus High School. Uh, it's been a pleasure coaching him. I've had him since he was a, a sophomore, and it's been really nice to see the growth from someone who was kind of small and dorky, and then to see him blossom into the quarterback that he is today. It's been it's been a pleasure. I mean, he's a great quarterback coach and offense coordinator. He really helps uh, with my development, my footwork. Um, it has improved a ton with all the drills we do, so footwork is probably the most important thing for quarterbacks. So the IQ of the game, which is also one of my very strong strong parts of my game that separates me from a lot of quarterbacks, is knowing where to go with the football, and he's definitely helped me improve in, in that top, uh, aspect of the game. Okay, my coaching method is, uh, I'm, I'm really honest, but uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a big yeller, and uh, my goal for him is to realize that he could be, you know, the greatest quarterback that, you know, ever plays at our school, and uh, I want him to continue to grow and just make sure that um, I'm giving him all the tools to succeed uh, as a quarterback here at our school. Uh, I think it's a great coaching method. He's very drill-oriented, that helps with footwork, and he's very read and process oriented, which is the most important thing for a court, uh, quarterback. You have to have a process coming to the snap every single, every single time you take a snap. You have to have a process before the play. So it's definitely very helpful that he's very process oriented because if you don't have a process, you're going to be very sporadic. Uh, good spot. 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 I would three axes like realistic route down. Mike Nesser, receivers coach, Columbus High School. It's exciting to, to, to have the quarterback uh, of your team uh, be an extension of, of the coaching staff out on the field. You, it allows us as coaches to, to be multiple, to attack the defense and our opponent in different ways. Uh, and it's just exciting to have somebody out there who, who has his capability and can allows us to be as versatile as we are. It's great. He played quarterback, so he definitely sees the eye, see the game through a quarterback's eyes, which really helps me with the perspective of what depths the routes have to be, what timing the routes have to be, and where they have to be at certain times to match up with my footwork and my reads, which is very, very important. I think our, uh, my coaching method is what we all try and do here at Columbus. We try and uh, make practice as hard as possible, make practice as fast as possible. That way, game situations. Um, don't seem as, as, as stressful. And I think reputation breeds the success that we've had. I think it's a great coaching method. He's, he's, he's really helped with our guys' footwork, very cone oriented, which is very important for receivers. Um, I see Alberto as a highly competitive individual who um, is a leader and he is extremely intelligent and makes great decisions when he's in the game. He's got a very high football IQ and knows the offense inside and out. He's been in the offense for, th for three years and his first year he was here sat and learned from his brother who was the starter that year and so he's I think he's you know he's each and every year he's become more comfortable with the offense and we've been able to grow with with him because of his knowledge of what we're trying to do each week. Uh, smart. Uh, savvy, smart, knows where to go with the ball, uh, understands defenses. He is, he is very much an extension of the coaching staff uh, when he's out on the field with the, with the offense. I describe my game as a very versatile player. I can stay in the pocket, make plays. I can also have some pocket mobility, and, um, and if I need to, I can use my feet to make plays. So I think I'm very versatile. My goals for Alberto is for him to get better each and every day and to lead us to a state championship. Uh, for Alberto, definitely, again, to build on what he did last year and being that he's the quarterback, he's, he's the guy who has to be the coach on the field and to lead those guys up um, when we're out there as an offense. My number one thing is, you know, just lead our offense and, and lead our team. You know, he's got to be efficient with the football. Um, and probably more so this year than in, than last year. You know, he's also got to make some plays with his, with his legs, which which he has done so far. But if he can help our offense operate at a highly efficient level and and, and not turn the ball over, you know, we feel really good about you know each and every game we have to play this year. Uh, my goals and expectations for the season. I expect to go back to back, win states again. So um, I, I every single day I hold our guys to that standard that we have to win again, the same mentality. Um, so 
we got to win. Uh, our goals here at Columbus have always been the same. Uh, we always try and take care of district first. Uh, we want to put ourselves in a situation where we are district champs and shore up a playoff spot so that we can compete for a state title beyond that. You know, ours is, you know, we're still, you know, we're kind of young in some spots, you know, especially uh, on offense. So we're still, you know, you know, hopefully we have a long season. You know, last year we played 15 games or five games into it right now. Hopefully we get to play 15 again this year. So I'd like to think we're a third of the way through. Uh, but, you know, our goal really is to get each get better each and every day. And you know, I felt we got better at practice today, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. You know, but now our goal is we got some stuff we're going to do after school today and, you know, get better this afternoon and better tomorrow. We kind of, you know, really have tunnel vision and, and try to live – um, each and every day and try to get better in each and every practice. And then if we do that, you know, the, the game should take care of themselves. I think our team is, is a special team this year. Uh, ju just uh, as special or if not more special than last year. And I, I expect the team to be able to put all the games we need together to be able to win states. Uh, and I believe all our guys can do that, anyone playing on the field. Um, our goals are to take it a game at a time and then ultimately put ourselves in a position to win a state championship. Love our team's chance with Alberto leading. Uh, loved it last year, love it again this year. Uh, and with a season under his belt, playing in 15 games last year, he's a, he's a seasoned veteran. Uh, and it's just exciting to have that again for another year. I, I like us over anyone, honestly. Uh, I don't think anyone can stop us. We're very disciplined, one of the most disciplined teams. We're a very talented team also. We might not always be the most talented on the team, although we're very, very talented, but we're going to be more disciplined than you. Uh, I really, you know, I think with him, like we're going, you know, I go back on what I said before, his high football IQ is always going to be able to put us into a good play. He's so competitive and can make all the throws necessary to be effective in our offense. And that compiled with our, our, you know, we have a really sound, stout defense, and we're, we're, we've been pretty good in special teams lately. Um, you know, I like our chances, you know, w in all three phases, but with him leading our offense, I think that's kind of, you know, th that's, you know, probably our winning edge this year offensively is having him at the helm. Alberto, like I said, he's uh, extremely competitive. Um, he's brutally honest, and I think that's why his teammates like him. Outstanding leader. Uh, has been from the time he won the job as a junior. Um, definitely is, is, is the type of player that his teammates rally around and listen to. And he does an outstanding job of, of being that coach on the field and getting everybody in the right place. I, I love my teammates. You know, I, I, some of my best friends are on the team. And I just, I, I hang out with them after practice. We do a ton of stuff, train together, get extra work together. So it's definitely a different bond at Columbus, a brother, a real brother. And a lot of people say they have brotherhoods, but Nothing's really like Columbus because we go after, we, we eat meals together, we go eat together, we hang out together, we do all these things together. It really brings us together and just it's, it's a different level of connection when we're on the field. That guy is an animal. He's probably the best quarterback I've ever played with in my life. And I'm, I'm genuinely happy to have him as my quarterback and my friend. Uh, Christopher Columbus High School is a great school. We're developing uh, young men into leaders and servants, and I believe that uh, Alberto is a great embodiment of what we do at Christopher Columbus High School. Uh, um, team mentality, uh, brotherhood, team, um, hard work, efficiency, I mean, those are the things that we hang our hats on that we, that, that we start to instill from, from the first day we come out to get ready for the, following, uh, for the upcoming season after Christmas break in January. Definitely a brotherhood. You know, everybody's in it together, everybody pulling for each other. It's just always been the culture here. And, and, you know, we get a lot of it because of the guys who are here before us in this football program and in the school. And we got to get a lot of legacy kids that, you know, Alberto and Fernando's dad played offensive line here with Coach Cristobal and Coach Mirabal who are at University of Miami. And we have a lot of a lot of young men that they're the second and possibly third generation Columbus graduates and Columbus football players. The school's mentality, they're very open to sports, as we know. Columbus is probably, if not the best, um, uh, male athletic program in, in Florida. Uh, so it's, the school is very open to helping sports. Obviously, we have great facilities, great rate room, great locker room, which really help us develop as a team with get, being more bigger, stronger, and more physical than other teams.
hopefully he throws enough touchdowns for us to win. Uh, I think last year he set the record at the school, so um, if he's able to do that again, I think we'll be in a great, sh uh, great place to win as a team. Uh, I wouldn't put a num I wouldn't put a prediction as a number on it, but I'm sure he, as well as us coaches, uh, feel like he can he can match what he did last year uh, as a benchmark, and, and and I know he's looking to push beyond that. And I don't see any reason as a coach why he couldn't. Ah, uh, it's gonna it's tough to tell. You know, it all depends on you know who we're playing that week and and how much we throw the ball. That that'd be hard to judge. Um, he was you know he's, he stays efficient with the football. I think it'll be a pretty good number. And he's done that. You know, he's only thrown one interception this year. So hopefully, you know, knock on wood, we can keep that number really, really low. And, and uh, you know, if our run game improves a little bit, I think it'll even, you know, help our, our, our pass game offense. So I, I expect him to have, you know, solid numbers. But, you know, the most important number is the W at the end of every Friday night. All right, as many as I can throw. I don't like giving numbers because I don't want to jinx anything. But <laughs> as many as I can throw, I expect to do – uh, just as good as last season. Hey, a dual threat quarterback, this guy can pick you apart, man. We're gonna get this kid, y'all gonna be lucky to have him. See pride. Hey, we gotta go, but before we leave, and for those of y'all back home, let them know what we gotta do, man. Fight, grind, shine, like, and subscribe. That's it. Good job, good job, good job.